Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Plombier de Fromage. We're not too far from the end of the game. We're on the sixth level. There are eight exits in total, so I feel like either I haven't found the secret exit already, or I've al like I've already missed it, or, you know, a castle might be a pretty great place to hide it, especially a very eerie glowing one. It's Mario's Declassified Guide to the Galaxy. Which I realized in editing is probably more of a mashup of Ned's Declassified and Hitchhiker's Guide. Uh, still, uh, a weird title no matter how you slice it. And also, I maintain good show. Oh, hey, the second tune I recognize. This is VVVVVV music. Good game. Okay, just took away my hit. Uh, what happens here? Do I go in here? Are there just different rooms? Okay, there's different rooms. There's a secret exit in this castle. Well, thank you for telling me where that the secret... Don't overthink its location. You just have to re-enter this room later. Okay. So we got double up on the... We got double up on the thwomps here. And for some reason it wouldn't let me... Okay, there we go. Let's, let's take a hit this time with this. Okay, don't overthink it too much. You just have to re-enter later. Okay, so... All right, <laughs> I'm, I'm good at video games. All right, so, okay, this is gonna, ooh, this is a, all right, whoa, that scared me, dang it. That, this game is really good at spooking you into doing something stupid, I will say that. Okay, so this is, all right, now we're getting really serious with this, uh, with this little thing here. There we go, all right, all right, just gotta get him out of hiding there. All right, and just stay here, then pop in, and boom. There we go. There we have it. Okay, now what do I want to be doing here? Okay, so I think the idea here is I let the dry bones go, and then, yeah, then that gives me the time to pop over to... Wow, thanks for giving me the momentum off the jump there, game. That was, that was really kind of you. I appreciate that very much. There we go. That's much more like it. And now... Oh, wow. That barely works. Dang. Okay. So, I think they'll stay... I think he'll stay in the uh, thing if I... Uh, okay. Down, up. So, let's see. I think I'm going to want to spin jump on this guy. Oh, dang. Oh, accelerated up going. Okay. So, he's going to go up really fast. So, I got to watch out for that. Okay, all right, okay, okay, we're through, and then he's gonna come here. Oh, wow. Wow, he, they are, they are really zipping at this point, so I think I'm gonna want to spin jump on him, maybe? Okay, yeah. Oh, well, but not do that, and now I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, hitting the muncher made me not aware of what I was looking at, so let's do it up. Go over the top. Oh, oh. Oh, hey. Wow, well, that just ended up kind of working out. Oh, God, he caught the edge of it. Okay, so you jump toward... So you jump toward what you uh, whatever you want to go... You jump toward the thwomp to make the bricks go away. I believe is what I'm being asked there. You jump toward the thwomp to make the bricks go away, and then you gotta react again in order to... In order to actually get to where you're wanting to go. So let's see if I can... Let's let's try to make it there this time. So... Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, yeah, no. Okay, we're making some good headway right here. I'm just kind of in a holding pattern right now. So let me make sure I can tell what I'm looking at. Jump over. Then jump over here. And then up! <laughs> you have to actually make it up into the pipe, Jess. There we go. Finally got in there. Now we gotta learn and not do again. Cool. So this level, if you don't know what you're looking at right away, you're gonna die. And that's where difficulty starts getting, like, not very fun for me. It's like, I don't mind a challenge, but I like to at least be able to process the challenge that I am being presented. Somebody said, uh, somebody said in a comment that this is getting kind of Kaizo-y, and 
At the time, I disagreed, but this level actually is a little. I can't seem to get through that part without taking a hit, so... But none of the other parts are really very... Very avoid a hit intensive, and then I say that right as I die right there. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, this level is looking pretty... This level is looking pretty wild. There's not actually anything through that fast pipe, by the way, except a whole lot of nothing. So I feel like either this is... Well, this may be the first room of the castle. This this hack does have a thing about much easier second halves. The first half is where you really suffer. Oh, whoa, hey, I did it. The first half is where you really suffer in a level in this game. Okay, go, please. Oh, thank you. Okay, this is hard to hit right here. Even if you make it here, like... Yeah, getting up in the pipe is hard. So now what am I looking at here? And then I didn't get the momentum. Oh my god, that's annoying. So you basically got to like run and hit the... Running and spin jumping is really hard. Especially on my controller where the buttons are on like... Opposite sides of the x-axis from each other. Like... Super mega difficult. Oh Yeah, that last part. I hope that... I hope that last bit that I keep eating it on is the end of this particular gauntlet because uh i have i have talked a few times about my uh hands not sweating yeah getting a little getting a little sweaty thumbs this is the first one to make me to make me really sweat god i hate going up into pipes from falling things it sucks a lot glavin okay so i think what i want to do is jump there we go. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then what's next? Okay. Well, that was actually kind of easy to sight read. Now we're just in here. Okay. Very, very quick little how do you do. Boom. Down. And okay. Good. All right. Oh, a one up. <laughs> uh, whatever for my dear boy. Uh, let's see. Okay. So now we're in here. Oh, okay. So. The items are blocked off now. The secret exit is through here. The regular exit is through here. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? Ah, okay. So part two. Okay, so now that part one is blocked off, power up wise. Oh, I can't go to either one of them. Let's do part two first, and then we'll do the secret exit second. What's in here? Okay, so it's not... Is there a... Oh, okay. I have to reset. Okay, so... Am I supposed to, like, catch myself in the bubble? Is that the, uh... Is that the... I... What am I looking at here? What am I... What am I trying to read into? I don't understand what it's even asking me to do. Am I supposed to have a P-switch or something? Like... Oh, okay, I can get on top of the bubble. Okay, that was not immediately apparent from the from the start. Okay, blue bubbles are bouncy, green bubbles are solid, and I can stand on them. Okay, and I start in the second half. Okay, good. It's just a matter of going here now. Okay, yeah. So now uh, the Thwomp puzzle is finished. Now we are on to whatever this is. Boing, boing, boing. Okay. Alright, I'm feeling it. The bouncies. Oh, that one was actually an enemy one. That, that was kind of hard to uh, sort out, because it's a little dark in here. Uh, the neon is not exactly the... The neon is not exactly the kindest lighting that I've ever seen, to be honest with you. Yeah, you don't have much time to get on top of that thing, and I've lost my hit already. Dear God. Okay, so now we're going to pop onto him, and then we got to bounce onto here. <laughs> okay, so. Alright. Oh, okay, got to keep our springy bubble. Got it. But again, going into vertical pipes, not the most intuitive thing in this little level that I'm being asked to play here. Thank you. Oh my gosh, okay. That bubble didn't even move fast enough for me to land on it? Okay, now, come out fast enough for me. There we go, okay. And then over here. Whoa, boing. And then over here, and then boing. Not high enough. That's 
Wow, that was that was not bad for a sight read, but I think I've mostly got that one. Let's let's take another whack at that. Yeah, there's just not any margin for error on that one. Whoa, and it's raining spinies all of a sudden. That's cool, I guess. Alright, what are we looking at here? Okay, well, we're looking at spinies on the head for sure. Okay. And the thing dips into the hole or something? Alright, avoided the spiny that time. Nice. Okay, so boing. Oh, hey, you only need the one there. That's kind of nice. Alright, and then this is a thing for... What did I miss here? There are, there are... There are dotted lines here, but I can't go through them or anything. What did I miss? Oh, I hear some... Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, there's a snake block involved somehow? What happened there? Like... I don't even know what that was. Okay, so what's happening here? Do I need to, like... Do I need to touch... I can't even get to the bubble! Jeez! Okay, so is the snake block at the end there? Is that the idea? Oh, wait. So you touch this. How do I touch the snake block? Oops. Okay, so how do I touch the snake block to set it off? Like... How do I touch the snake block to make it go? Okay, so you hit the coin block and then the snake thing goes. Okay. And that is... Well, it would have been the end of that chapter, but... Me and Pipes, God almighty. So then, the order of operations is hit the order of a river is hit that, then go here, then do this and jump on it, and that is cool. And then, assuming I can actually jump into a pipe, we're home free ish, apparently. And there's a boss fight from here. That's cool. Man, this level this level goes on a bit. What's what's in here? What awaits now? A, uh, quite the Reznor fight. Cool. Okay, so there is an ongoing... Okay, so the... Ha! <laughs> I do like the, uh, Kirby music, but I think I'm always gonna get hit right there, probably. Okay, and I touched Res... Okay, so... Can I go through the thing? I cannot. So I'm probably always gonna get hit right there. Okay, well, this is... Okay, oh, hey! And then I, I say I'm always going to get hit right there, and then I manage to not get hit right there. Boy, this is... Okay, I got one Resner. Very cool. Okay, okay, we're making some progress here. Okay, this is actually kind of funny, I think. Uh, well, it's funny until you... It's all fun and games until you hit a muncher. Okay, there we go. There's one down. I'm dangerously dancing with the pale thwomp in the moonlight. Oh, okay, okay. So you pretty much need the springboard to get the Resner. Does anything happen in the second half of the Resner fight here? Uh, not doesn't appear so. You just gotta hit. You just gotta hit four Resners. Looks like you can get a pretty easy hit there at the beginning if you uh, if you're on top of it. But the thing is, you don't want the Thwomp to be on top of you. Yeah, it's just barely like. No, I don't want to get the Thwomp from underneath. I want to get the. I want to get the Resner. Yeah, yeah. One hit. One hit. Like if you if you nail it just right, there's like a guaranteed hit at the beginning. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that is. Okay, so there must be an order to this that's like really. If I find the order, I can do this really quickly. But it's just I, you know, it's hard enough to do this with a thwomp. It's hard enough to do this by itself. I don't think the thwomp in the room is really a necessary component of it. I am kind of weirded out by the idea that those two segments were all just preparation to get me ready for this part. God, you try to stay away from the thwomp, but like... Like, I'm trying to zero in on the bubble and also, like, avoid the thwomp. Okay. Ah! But then, yeah, okay, so I've gotten two so far. You can pretty much get one if you know what you're doing. I don't think I'll be able to get two very quickly. Okay... Yeah, see, 
And then I just end up jumping up into the Resner. Well, this is... This is interesting on a level of... Uh, it technically all fits together without breaking, but... On the, uh, fun-to-do scale... I'm not... I'm not entirely convinced this is a fun activity. I'm not convinced I'm having fun here, really. Yeah, that one guaranteed hit is at least nice. I wish you could hit the Resners without needing the without needing the bubble. That would help a lot. Okay, so go in here and bop de boo and okay. Yeah, we may just want to like you get the idea. You know what you're supposed to do. Ah, Resner, you push me into the munchie. That's I did not I, I don't want to have the munchies. That's that's not my goal here. Golly, my goal is to get more than two hits on this thing, because it's going to take four. We know that. We know Resner has four rotating platforms. So this is going to take four hits, and I've managed to get, in any given run so far, I've managed to get two. Maybe there's only three, because I see this guy. No, he pushed me into death. I think there might only be three Resners here, which is kind of a nice little... Which is kind of a nice little how do you do. Yeah, the, okay, there's... Oh, wow. I really deserve to die there, probably. Yeah, I, that was... That was basically choose your death. Three ways. Wow. Or just do that. Okay. I think I'm going to end up in the end getting more lucky than anything. This is not quite... This is not what I would call exactly a test of skill, per se. Aw, oh, man! Yeah, once that... Once once two are down, it takes a long time for the third one to come... Or, or, yeah. Yeah, once two are dead. Okay, two... Ah, come here, you! I almost had you. Yes! There we go, and now I just have to stay... Ho <laughs> oh, that was... a workout. But there's still a secret exit to be found, and they said not to overthink it, so, uh... I think we're gonna go ahead and find that real quick. You just have to re-enter the one room after doing it. Okay, so credits. Okay, yeah, so we've got the credits up ahead. We did... we did six. Can I just go back in without doing L and R? Okay, I have to push L and R, I guess. There we go. Oh, wow, the level is already, like... Oh, we're already in the back half, so if we want to come back and this, get the secret exit, it's already done for us. Okay. Wow, boy. This game does have a lot of, like, little quality of life things that even when you're not having a whole lot of fun in a level... Okay, so here's the secret exit. This must be... Is this gauntlet number three, or is it just being... Oh, okay. You found it. If you don't want to clear the secret exit, go to the door nearby. No, I want to clear the secret exit. Give me the secret exit. That's all there is to it? Well, all right. Well, <laughs> nothing, nothing Kaizoe in the beyond the beyond. I guess there's one more level then. Off to the. I'm gonna guess it's off to the. Oh. Okay, it's leading us to the Star Road. So I guess next time, that's gonna be it. We're gonna see what the Star level has in store for us. And uh, uh yeah, I think we might be wrapping this up next time, unless credits is its actual own level or something.